All right, hello guys. Um, my name is Erica Gonzalez. I am currently a Platinum Consultant with Rising Tide and the team leader for Team Unstoppables. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and go over um, how to do a link tree and what a link tree is. Uh, it's a very easy process um, and it's super duper easy. Uh, I personally use it for everything as you can go ahead and see on my screen. Um, that's a little bit example. We'll go into more detail into that. But um, we're gonna go ahead Ahead and just go into it. Like I said, it's a really easy process, so it shouldn't be a very, very long uh, training. Okay. So for those that don't know, Linktree is pretty much a, um, it is a free social media reference landing page. Um, and uh, it's a tool that allows you to share multiple links to uh, one social media. Okay. Which is pretty much what you see right now. Um, Make sure I mute everybody here. Okay. Um, as you can go ahead and see, right, there's a picture of myself. Um, you do a little bio. Um, I have these little icons on here. And um, also, you have this is my personal. So I have, for example, like my personal travel site, um, uh, which I pay for. It's not the my the Evo one. Um, I do have uh, my travel business page on here. Um, for those that are more than six months into it, um, you do have a Sandals uh, affiliate link since I've been here for almost four years. Um, of course, I have mine. Um, I do specialize, as you can see, as my ears, um, I do specialize more in Disney. Um, I feel more comfortable with Disney. So I specialize, that's my niche, right? Everybody should have a niche. You, um, regardless, if you don't, for example, that does not mean that I'm only gonna go ahead and book Disney, right? So a niche kind of helps you to narrow and focus on certain people or certain um, destinations and like that it's much easier to kind of grasp or understand compared to trying to um, learn the whole world at once, right? Especially if you're uh, a new agent, that this is this kind of helps. So um, I do know that there is um, there is, for example, um, like people that like cruises, right? They can specialize on cruises, meaning like they can specialize on Carnival Cruise, Norwegian Cruise. So they can specialize in all that. Same thing with weddings. There's people that just want to do like weddings or honeymoons or which is perfectly fine. That's just called a niche. Right. And that kind of helps you. And that brings in more of that kind of people that you want. But you still have the availability of being like, yeah, I can go ahead and book Greece or I can book Las Vegas, even though it has here Disney specialist. Right. So it's just a general information. Um, for those that don't know, I do have my car, which is wrapped with sandals. So I advertise sandals a lot and everywhere I go. Right. So, again, just because I specialize on Disney does not mean I, I'm not specializing in something else. And that kind of gives them like, oh, you only book sandals and guess what? I'm like, no, I actually am a Disney specialist, but I can book anywhere for you. So it's a really, really good conversation starter as well. But for those you know that would like to go ahead and do a destination or um, a specific niche, that would really go ahead and help. And like I said, I do more of a Disney. So that's why I have a particular quote just for Disney itself, because there's certain questions that I want to go ahead and ask to make sure that they get that good experience, right? Um, I do have a bus transportation for Disney World. I have general quotes, and this is kind of, like I said, if they want to go to Vegas or they want to go ahead and have a honeymoon in the Bahamas, whatever it is, that's where it is. Um, Fatima, my page, um, it's Linktree forward slash Erica for travel. If you want to look at that, I'll go ahead and put it on the chat. Don't know why you guys are not seeing it, but you should be able to see it. And um, okay, so you can click on there and you can kind of follow along as well too. Um, so I have the general quotes. I also have um, a TikTok. You know, I have followed me, of course. Uh, credit card authorization form. I use that with my job form. Uh, of course, if they're interested in becoming a travel agent, because I'm a team builder as well. Um, and my LinkedIn account, right? So I have all this in one area where instead of be, and, and this is what I advertise, my link tree, that what you see in the chat, that's what I advertise. Linktree forward slash Erica for travel. 
and that's everywhere and anything. I don't go ahead and put my website. I don't put um, nothing else but my link tree. Okay. So, how do I get a link tree? Link tree is free, guys, and that's what I like about it. It's free. Um, it looks professional, as you can see. It's not just plain Jane. Um, and you do have availability to make it customized as well. I know they have, for example, um, like a solo and other um, stuff like this, but I, they do charge, right, to make it at least at least pretty. But Linktree is free. So what you can go ahead and do is just go ahead and go to Linktree, which is L I. N K T R period E E. That's all you need. You don't need to put dot com, nothing. Okay, I'll go ahead and put it on in the chat. So all you have to do is just click the link tree and it should come up to this. Or you can just Google link tree and then uh, you can go ahead and follow it from there. But as you can go ahead and see, it connects any link pretty much you put in there. It can have it on one area, okay? So you can sign up, it is free. So if you go ahead and go to sign up, you can automatically choose your forward slash whatever name you wanna go ahead and do. In my case, mine was Erica for Travel because that's my business page, right? Um, you wanna associate everything under one area. So whatever your business name is, that's what you wanna associate everything with. You don't wanna associate it with Archer, you don't wanna associate it with Evolution, nothing, right? Because you're your own business owner. Right. So, for example, in this case, it's giving you an example here. Right. Since I already have mine, but you can pretty much put whatever it is. Um, for travel, Erica. Erica. There you go. And it'll let you know it's, if it's available. See. And all you have to do is sign up, email, and the password. Make up a password, and then sign up with email. And it's going to verify and all that good stuff. But that's how you go ahead and sign up. Once you do that, that's pretty much it. And this is what you're going to go ahead and share with everybody. This is going to be your link. So whatever you put after the link tree forward slash, that's what you want. That's what you're going to advertise. So make sure it's not just your name. Make sure it's make sure it's your business name. Okay. Does that make sense? Once you go ahead and sign up. Right. In my case, let me show you how mine looks. You're going to log in. And like I said, everything is free, guys. Unless, of course, you want to upgrade, you'll see, you'll see right now. So when you log in, you're always going to just log in with the last information because it automatically comes out with the link tree for its last whatever it is, your password, and then log in. Now here's where you have fun, right? This is where you're gonna put in what links you wanna go ahead and have and advertise for everybody to go ahead and, and have on there. So for those that have like a business page on Facebook, you can advertise that. If you wanna advertise your um, your evolution travel one, Evo travel agent forward slash whatever it is, you can go ahead and do that. But you see how you don't have to write um, everything on here. It says evolution travel agent.com forward slash Erica for travel, you don't have to do all that, right? All you have to do is kind of get the, the information, the URL, and just put it on here, okay? And of course, you all should know how to get to the URL, which is um, up here, right? Um, and all you have to do is put it on to this. So all you're going to do is go to add new link, click on it. And the cool part is you'll be able to see your process going right here on the side. Okay, so for example, you have a title, so whatever you want to name it. So in this case, like, let's just say it's your Facebook account for your business page, right? So I can put like fit Facebook on here, just like that. Facebook business page. And this is whatever you guys want to name it. If you have an Instagram account, if you have um, Linktree, Twitter, whatever, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And then it asks you for your URL. So, for example, my URL for my Facebook is facebook.com forward slash Erica for travel. I already know my URL for that. If you guys don't know, you just go to um, whatever, um, in, in case like your Facebook, you're going to go into um, your business page and then on top, the, the URL, 
which is the top, which is www whatever it is, that's your URL. Okay, so you'll just copy and paste that onto here. And then you'll see it right here. Okay. Hold on, I have a question. Um, you put your business name. Remember, you are advertising your 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 business. So try not to use your name um, because everything you want to use as a business. Okay. So you see, as soon as I did that, you see how this one came in here. Now there's not going to be an image to it. Okay, as you can if, if, compare to others, you're able to add an image if you want. So in this case, like my Facebook right here, I went into Google and I looked up Facebook logo and I downloaded it and I uploaded it. Okay, so in this case, for example, sorry about my dog. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and just delete it. Let's just make pretend. Delete. And you're able to delete and move around stuff. So, um, okay. okay. So, um, so it doesn't matter how you put it. Like, let's just say, oh my god, um, that you put, uh, you know, your business page and your Facebook, but you wanted your Facebook first, not your business. That's perfectly fine. You can end up switching it however you guys want and, and uh, moving it and I'll show you how right now. But if I kind of scroll down and you can see how I can use this one as well so I can see. Uh, my general quotes doesn't have an, a picture. So I can go down and where it says general quotes. Okay, so right here where it says thumbnail, it looks like a little picture mountain. You can click on it and you're gonna go ahead and put set thumbnail and which would be the image that you wanna go ahead and add. So you're gonna put upload your own thumbnail. So this is after you went ahead and went to Google and found an image that you wanna go ahead and use. You're gonna go ahead and upload it. In this case, I think it was general quotes. So I just can go ahead and use this one, right? Doesn't have to be perfect. And that's the image that people will end up seeing. So those little, once on the side, excuse me. Then we just give it a little bit and then you'll go ahead and see it right there, you see? Uh, same thing, if I scroll a little bit down, my credit card authorization form doesn't have a little picture. I wanna add a little picture to it. So again, we're gonna go to thumbnail, set thumbnail, kind of like set picture, upload it. I wanna select my file. And I'm going to put those credit cards uh, right there. Save. Upload. Give it a little bit. And you'll see it on the side. I'm sorry, I'm lost. Where we put our business name on our username? Yes, Fatima. My Pomeranian is loving their new friend, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, I have two that are around here, my little palms. <laughs> All right, okay. And then we just go ahead and you don't have to, if you wanna remove it, we just exit out. That doesn't mean it's the, the little um, picture is gonna go away, just exit out. And like that, it makes it small, see? Now, like I said, let's just say that you wanna put your Facebook first, right? All you have to do is kind of, you see my little hand right here. If I move it everywhere everywhere else, you just see the little arrow. But if you kind of go to the three dots right here, you it changes to a hand. So all you do is kind of click, left click, and just drag it up and it moves. You see how it moves? You're able to move it. So then you're able to move these wherever you want to go ahead and set it up however you want, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's where you're going to put all your uh, euros on here, whatever you want it to land on. Um, if you want uh, your credit card authorization forms in there, if you want uh, general quotes, if you want your travel, your business, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever social media you want to add on this. And this is just business wise, guys, you know, um, don't put like your personal Facebook unless you, you, you want to, but uh, it would be more of a business. Okay. Now, 
after this to make it look, you know, you can change the color. We're gonna go ahead and go to appearance. And by the way, you're able to see how many people view it and how many people click on your stuff as well. So that's pretty cool. So on here in the appearance, that's where like you can have the little bio where it says um, Disney specialist and all that good stuff. And that's where you're uh, able to go ahead and also upload a picture of yourself. Would recommend putting a picture of yourself. Um, just like that. So you're gonna do it, well, not just like that, but like a picture close up of yourself, right? Um, you're gonna go ahead and put, pick an image. You're gonna choose a picture that you want and that's gonna be right there. And then where it says bio, that's where you can put whatever you guys wanna go ahead and put. Um, um, I'm gonna put, there you go, palm mom too. I have two palms. <laughs> um, so these little jiffy thingies right here, which are the emojis, I got those from like Facebook, you know, how you're able, because I, I don't know how to get it on, on here. So on my Facebook, I go in there and I kind of see the little, um, like I was able to get the castle from my, my Facebook. So I just copy it and paste it onto here. Let me see if I can do one really quick. So like that you guys can know what I'm talking about. Meanwhile, let's see. Do you recommend having a photo of yourself over a logo? I do. Having a, a picture of yourself because remember, you want people to know who you are, right? You're already telling the people what your business is, what's your business name. So I usually recommend having your picture posted compared to anything else. But that's just me. Okay, so if I go into my Facebook, Take its time. Okay. Hold me well. That we wait. Okay. So, um, all right. Yes. So you can put your information on there, whatever you want to go ahead and do. If you go a little bit down, you're able to see themes. This is kind of the colors that you can kind of choose that would change the background. So for example, if I want this, it kind of, and you're able again to see how it's gonna look, okay? Um, usually when the holidays come along, um, you will see themes too, like um, I know there was for Christmas, um, I know there was for uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Halloween, so major holidays, uh, they do change, they are available. The only thing is like once it's over, so, you know, let's just say it's uh, February and you still have like a Christmas theme, kind of, you know, um, but you're able to change it and you can go on here like once a month to see if there's anything new or different colors. Um, but, you know, you can always just keep it one solid color too, or not really solid, but you can make it like a little bit more um, with different kind of tone. You see that? Kind of gives it a different feel. And this is all for free, guys. You don't really need to upgrade unless you really want it, you want to. And upgrading would just be kind of like um, having more backgrounds, you know, um, being able to, you know, have your own personal image, which would be like the background. So, um, and I believe it's like five dollars, nine dollars, um, depending on the upgrade. And you end up like doing like a whole bunch of stuff, but you really don't need it. Um, I mean, if you think mine. It's pretty cool by just how the way it looks. If everything that I did was for free. Okay, here we go. So um, you see how I, I have my little emojis on there. So let me see if I'm able to put my little, my little dog feet from there. Let's see. And paste. There you go. You see? So if you, if you have it, you can uh, copy and paste it. And that's how you get your little emojis on there. Okay. And it automatically saves as you're going, it saves. So for example, I don't even have to put anything on here. If I go into my link tree again, and I kind of put refresh because I kind of, you saw me update some stuff on here. So you see, I have my little paws right there for my little dogs. If I scroll down, you get to see the credit card and you get to see my little checklist right there.
when the customer fills out the, the, the quote from you, will you get an email or how do you know you have a request form? Yes, I do get an email. Um, this is through job form. So job form does alert me that I do have um, an email pending. I do get two different uh, emails. I get an email uh, from job form letting me know and I get the email from the client as well. So I get both. So it alerts me twice. And this is through job form. Um, you are able to do it through um, the, the forms, Google forms. The only thing is that Google forms does not alert you when somebody uh, fills out the information. So you have to kind of go in there like pretty much every day, like in the morning and at night to make sure you're not missing anything. Um, but regardless, job form is free as well. So that's why I like job form because it alerts me right away, gives me all the information and I can put the questions and everything I want on there. Okay. All right, um, so that's pretty, that's pretty much it. That's really, really simple to use. Um, it's very, very user-friendly as well for those that really are not really computer uh, people. Um, it does really help. There is a way- Hey, Erica. Yes. Can I ask a question? How did you get your um, symbols at the top? What in Facebook? What is that? How your did email? I get my what? Those symbols at the very top above your travel site, up under your name. Oh, that's what I was what going it? over through through Facebook. Okay, I so missed that. I'm emoji? sorry. Yeah, there at the top. I'm sorry, I missed it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no problem. I'll go that. over it right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Amber, there is a way to get alerted through Google Forms also. Oh, okay. I didn't know that, Amber. Okay. Well, there is a way to get through Google Forms too. So um, either either or um, whatever is easier for you, either through Google Forms or Job Forms. I just thought a Job Forms was, was a little bit better for me. Do you use electronic signatures with your forms? For the credit card authorization form, yes, I do. Um, you guys are welcome to look into my thing, but if you go to credit card authorization form, it's pretty much like Archer's. Um, I kind of customized it a little bit more, like I did the little castles on here, my logo, um, made it more of uh, what is in the legal document, it's like the names. So if they mess up on the name, because I'm just copying whatever is on here. So if they mess up on the names, it's not my fault because I just copied and pasted whatever's on here. Um, also, the last four of the credit cards, I'm not going to ask for the full credit card uh, form, right? Because we don't want that on anywhere on the internet besides where you're putting it into the supplier. So I'll ask for the four. And of course, once I get this quote, then I'll call them so I can get, um, I'll print this out so like that I have it. And then I'll call the client and tell them to go ahead and continue, uh, give me the whole 16 digit phone, uh, phone number, <laughs> uh, card number on there. And then if you scroll down, you see that they're able to kind of sign right there. I think that's what you were asking, right, William? So we can, we could customize something like that. We don't have to use the exact one from Archer. Correct. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've customized. Theirs is so ugly. <laughs> huh? I said theirs is so ugly. Yes, um, I, um, I've i never used theirs. So when I saw it, um, I was actually started off with doing it on my Google Docs. So I was able to do it. Um, that's how I started off. So like whenever they would use it, I would forward my Google Doc to them. Um, of course, I would put it the information that I needed to put um and have them fill out the rest and um it would come back to me you know i'll print it out or they will take a picture of it whatever it was at the end of the day as long as i had their signature i was good and their credit card information right um plus they still have to uh you know send you the id um for, for this too so don't forget to do i have that on here do you need the just the front of the ID, right? You don't need the back of it, do you? It's a, the front and back, yes. The front and the back. Okay. Yes. Uh, card holder, two, 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 information, credit card, billing is complete. I, I don't see it on here, so I need to put that on there. Yeah, because um, on Archers, I think at the very bottom, it says, you know, the the credit card, uh, I mean, uh, the, the picture of it. 
yeah i think i need to add that on mine but yes that's my credit card authorization form like i said you can customize it you can use google forms you can use google doc whatever you want to guys want to go ahead and do drop form um as long as it kind of has pretty much what archer's information has that's what you need but then you can customize it like i said to actually have everybody that's included that it like for example mine says the children names and ages because again you know not just for um archer's purposes but i want to make sure like if you're doing flights and stuff because i don't want them to be like oh you misspelled my my name or you misspelled my child's name it's like no you wrote it wrong <laughs> so i'm covering my butt <laughs> okay uh hold on let me get to the to how number i have google forms okay so for your credit card days in form for the signature do you have to pay for them to be able to sign that form no it's it comes with the job form and that's why also um i use job form because i wasn't able to see on google form where you're able to electronically sign that was another reason i i went to job form how do you have them sign send you the images of their id um through email um through messenger however they feel comfortable and there's some people that um i've had on facebook that send them through facebook okay um because in reality it doesn't have the information of like the credit card authorization i mean of the um credit card number right so we don't want that to float around so however the client feels comfortable if they want to go ahead and send it to you either through text like taking a picture of it if they want to send it you know through email like if they want to scan it however they want to send it to you it's perfectly fine as long as you have it at the end um okay on the beginning ask me pick your travel tourism category what do you choose i missed that okay at the beginning ask me pick your trap not sure what you're asking, Fatima. Okay, um, going back to this really quick. Um, these emojis, um, for those that missed it, uh, you are able to kind of, if, if, because I have it here in my intro, right? Um, you can also go like on here, it doesn't matter, and just kind of look on here. It's usually like these little thingies and look for what you want, right? Let's just say I'm gonna choose the first one because it's taking forever. So it's gonna be an emoji face, right? So all I can do is just highlight it. And I'm gonna right click, copy, come over to my bio and paste it. Does that make sense? And that's how you get your little emoji on there. What about the social media symbols and the e email symbol underneath that? Oh, okay. Um, that part. These. Um, that I got through. Well, let me see. It's in the settings, and then you go down to the social icons. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> so you click on Thank the settings. You. Once you click on settings. My thing is taking a while because my computer is so old. <laughs> so once you click on settings, like they, like she said, you're gonna scroll down. Just, just scroll. Down. There we go. Whoop. You're gonna go down, and then you're just gonna go ahead and fill out the information. And that's where you have. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is my Facebook, my TikTok, YouTube, and email. There's other ones that you're able to go ahead and add as well. Uh, but I, again, I didn't want to add too many because I was already having it as it was right there. Since I didn't put my, my Gmail on here, so I that's why I have my little icon on there, my YouTube as well. So so I really I put two that I already have on here and then two that I don't. Because I didn't want to like overwhelm it either because I already have the little pretty thingies looking there okay thank you amber you might just like the tourism okay thanks okay all right so um like i said this is very very pretty easy to use and that's pretty much all you need um as i said as you're going along 
you're it's saving it so you don't have to worry about it so now all you have to do is once you're done right here where it says the share that's what you're going to go ahead and share so you can highlight it and you can like start um pinning it or putting it with like your flyers putting it with um whatever information you use like in my case i use a lot of flyers so you'll end up seeing my this information instead of putting like contact me at and then put like um, my evolution travel or in my case since i have my own personal one erica for travel info or my phone number instead of doing all that all i have to do is is automatically do that reason being too is because what if like somebody um is interested in doing sandals or what if you know um somebody wants a general quote and doesn't just want disney so they have more options to kind of look into as well just by having one link where everything is available as well okay and also for those that don't know you can actually do a qr code as well which is very easy and free so if you kind of go to your page right make sure it's complete and that you have the information um, and this is through Google Chrome. I don't know if this is for everything else, but if you kind of click right here where it says share this page, you, you get a QR code right here. And if you click QR code, the QR code comes up, which minus, there you go. The only thing is you'll just see a little dinosaur right here. But if you're like a computer whiz, you can go to Canva and like wipe that out and just put like another image. Like I have, I have this and I did it through Canva and this image right here with the castle, I went ahead and overlapped that. So it doesn't have the dinosaur, but that's my QR code and it's free and very simple to use. So that's another good thing that you get. Uh, brilliant, thank you, Erica. No problem, Jasmine. Um, any other questions, guys, concerns? told you it was going to be a very easy training um very simple to do very easy to navigate as well and then all you have to do is just start posting this to everything and anything so like that you can instead of like i said we don't want to associate ourselves a lot with evolution travel because all the people already know evolution right so um again we want to have it with our name like I said, mine says Erica for travel, even though it says evolution travel agent.com forward slash Erica for travel, you want to be known as Erica for travel, right? So instead of having that big thing, if you go ahead and do one of these and just put like my travel page, it's gonna and then do like a nice, um, I don't know, whatever, like your logo on there. That's perfectly fine. So like that, you don't have to put all the time, Evo travel agent and all that stuff. If that makes sense. How do you add the email icon? That was under settings. Jennifer, if you go under settings and then you scroll down, it has you're able to do those icons. If you go down social icons. But yes, it's under settings and you just kind of go down. My name is taking a while, that's why. But you should find it there. There you go. Social icons, add icons. And then you're able to go ahead and search for the icons on there. Like email, it says all, I already added it. You know, it has like a whole bunch of them. You can do Snapchat, what's up, Twitter, TikTok, um, Snapchat, Linktree, all that. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, any other questions, concerns as of right now before I let you guys go? Like I said, it was this is like a very easy thing to use. And then you can always use it like in, with, with everything, like, you know, because there's like certain like Instagram and other stuff like that, where like you can only do like certain or or you hear pe people say, oh, look in my bio or it's in my bio. Are you doing that? Like it's bam right there and everything comes out. So it's pretty awesome. No, everything is clear. Now I have to have a job to do. <laughs> yes, Fatima, now you just have to make it all pretty and neat. Um, like I said, just all the links that you use or you think that you'll use can be, you start putting them on there and getting the URL. And it's going to be very easy, guys. 
because then all of that stuff can be put into one place. You're welcome, Mary. Um, I will go a question. Uh -huh. Yes. When you made your QR code, did you download that picture to Canva and then put your logo in the center of it? Yes. Okay. Thanks. So I was very like, I made sure I wasn't cutting anything close to the, the little dinosaur. Um, because you know, with any little thing, um, so you can always kind of like double check your, your, your phone and kind of make sure you get it. Um, and then from there, I just kind of, um, added my, hold on. kind of added the, whatever image or whatever logo, uh, you wanted, but yes, you download it. Uh, then you go to Canva, you open it, then you download it to there and just, you know, Make it you can make it bigger so like that you can see where the how big you can make the little square or if you need several little squares to cover the dinosaur. Shall we say? Okay. Uh the recording, Cynthia. Um I'll go ahead and post um in uh rising tide Facebook page. Um, not sure if you're on there. If not, I'll post it in um great thing. Okay, you should have it on there. If not, I'll I'll send it to the leaders and they should be able also to um be able to have that for you. Travel Facebook page. Travel Facebook page. Okay, let me delete this one. You're always able to delete it. Um, if you want to add it, but then like just you can you see this little green thing? If you kind of click on it, it kind of hides it. Right, you don't have to delete it, delete it, but it, it it hides it. So you can always go in here and just like be like, you know what? Never mind, I want it back on. So just click on it, and they'll come back on. Let's see. Okay. All right. Any other questions, guys, or concerns before I let you guys go? You're welcome, Kelly. So hopefully this kind of helped you. Like I said, uh, this is the free version. As you saw, it is a little bit, looks better than other free versions that are out there um, because it is free, right? Um, and it can look very, a, a, uh, you can put a very nice appearance to it and without having to pay more. And um, like I said, all, your links can be just under just one link and that kind of helps a lot as well. And if you can kind of, if you see my Facebook, um, my link tree is on there as well. So you start plugging in your link tree to everything. I have a job to do, Autumn. No, I have a job to do. <laughs> yes, Autumn, you have a job to do as well. I need help creating a Facebook business. Can you help? Uh, Miriam, that would have to, there is videos or you can go ahead and um, contact your sponsor for that because uh, I can't really help over uh, this training right now. But I know there should be some in Rising Tide 3 if you're in Rising Tide 3. All right. Any other questions, guys, regarding Linktree or the QR code? All right, looks like there is not going once, going twice. Yeah, all right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, like I said, you should be able to have this uh, recording. I will be sending it out um, to Rising, uh, Rising Tide uh, Facebook page. If you're not on there, then uh, check with your sponsor or your goals, and I'll go ahead and have that uh, send it out to your goals as well, so they can have that in this recording, and you can go ahead and rewatch it again. All right, guys, thank you for joining me. Have some fun with your link tree, and um, hope to see you around as well. All right, you guys have a nice evening. <laughs>